Hello OCS community. I hope you are all doing well and I wish all of you a happy new year. First a few updates for you. We welcome Miss Barkley to our staff. She has been working with the grade one class for the last couple of weeks. We are very thankful that she was able to work with the students a couple of times prior to the Christmas break so that she is no stranger to the class. We are thankful to God for the healthy delivery of a baby boy to Mrs. and Mr. Brend. We are delighted that Mrs. Hukuma has been willing to be interim advancement coordinator until we find someone who will permanently fill this position. Your board of directors will be meeting on Monday, January 18. Among other things, they will begin the work of creating a budget for the 2021-2022 school year. We are very thankful that our supporting community has been extremely generous to us in the end of year giving. It's helpful for us to remember that many non-parents continue to give year after year to support your decision to send your children to Ottawa Christian School. I have been struggling with how to emotionally deal with this second total shutdown of in-person learning. Perhaps three of my thoughts will help you. First, it's healthy to acknowledge that this lockdown comes with many frustrations and it can be dispiriting to many of us. It's good to let that out and to let that out in prayer to God. After all, he inspired the Psalms of Lament and the entire Book of Lamentations. It's also good to count our blessings. We can be thank thankful for a relatively robust health care system in our land. We can be thankful for stable governance. We can be thankful for the technology we have so that we can carry on schooling our children. Following the biblical pattern, we need to move from lamentation to thanksgiving. Lastly, the office of the priesthood of believers becomes prominent in times of crisis. Priests are those who intercede with God on behalf of the people. We need to pray for each other, but we have also been given the high calling of interceding for all those who may or may not know the Lord Jesus Christ. This is in part what it means to be salt of the earth. Our mayor, our health officials, our premier and his ministers, the prime minister and his ministers need our prayers. I'm told that schools in wide swaths of Africa have been closed and perhaps in many other uh, lands as well. Those millions of children and those countries need our prayers. Remember, as we read in Je uh, James 5 or 16, that the prayers of a righteous person are, are powerful and effective. Our children should see that we are priests of the Most High God. And now, may the peace of Christ be with you.